Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using Photoshop tutorial. So before any further ado, let's get started. So this is our Photoshop. Then go to File, select New. Then I'm going to use 8 by 8 inches. If your own is not inches, then make sure that you change it to inches. Then leave the resolution at 300. Then you come over here, you click on Create. So this is our working background now. Then after this one, the next thing to do, then I'm going to copy my color code. Then here are the test I'm going to use. I have already prepared everything. So, and I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your gradient. Then select this one. Click here to apply your color. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then click OK. Then click on this side. Then go back to copy your color code. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then open the column then ctrl plus v to paste then you click ok now here again then you click no before then click here then the opacity increase it to 100 percent then you click ok then come over here the angle should be 50 percent now you can click ok so you can see that this area is more darker than this area so the next thing now i'm going to create a new layer then go to your brush so here yeah, the brush i'm going to use is watercolor so this is watercolor and this is the one i'm going to use here Kelari watercolor big rough so this is the brush I'm going to use. So then you can increase it. So after increasing it, then you can now drag it this way. So you can get this brush on brush cheesing. So you can google for it, then you download it. So, then all this one already I've prepared them on the ground. So I'm going. I'm just showing you how I did it. So after you did this one like this, then the second one, the second one, then I'm going to change the color of the brush. Okay. Then how can I change the color of the brush? So to change the color of the brush. Then you have to go to your color background here this is your four color then you have to click here so when you click there then you apply the color that you want to make use of it create another layer again then this time around i'm going to change the background to something like this then you select your brush then you now apply it. So here are the way I did it. So but this is the rough one. So if you may, if you want to do it, make sure then you concentrate well and then undo it perfectly. So here I'm going to delete this one because I've already prepared them on the ground. So here it takes. So the first one I'm going to use here is this one. Then drag it up this way. Then you click OK. Then after then, then I'm going to bring this. Then I'm going to bring this background. Then you scale it out. 
then you click OK. Then go to your blending mode. Then I'm going to use multiply. Then after this one, then I'm going to bring this image here. Then you click OK. Then as it is now, so what I'm going to do now, then I'm going to change it to add light. Go to your blending mode. Then you change it to add light. So this is the color. Then, then after this one, so the next thing to do, then I'm going to reduce the opacity to 21%. So enter 21%, then you click OK. All right, then apply your layer mask, go to your brush. Then I'm going to change it to soft brush. Then to go see a soft brush, go to general, then you will see soft brush here. Then I'm going to clean up the line. You see, the reason why this is not applying is because the, my flow is 5%. Then I'm going to increase it to 100%. So you can see now. All right. Then you click OK. So now that we, have done, we are done with this one, so the next thing I'm going to do, then I'm going to bring the second brush which is this one so this is what we have all right so after this one now then the next thing is to bring in our test now then go back to your test and here are the fonts i use in this tutorial then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool or you press t on your keyboard then i'm going to change the color background to white then ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to change the font so this font here to here is the font then i'm going to increase the font size then ctrl plus a to highlight it then apply vertical alignment now ctrl plus d to deselect then i will increase it a little bit more this way is okay okay now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j then you drag it down select your test tool again ctrl plus a to alight it then i'm going to copy my test here present ctrl plus c to copy ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to reduce the font size then the character spacing i'm going to increase it by 100 percent so okay like this the ctrl plus a to alight apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect then use your arrow key then to move it up a little all right so then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j then drag it up here then you bring it down around here select your test tool then i'm going to type 2022 then you click ok and I'm going to change the font. So the font I'm going to use here is Mr. Dafo. Okay. Then go to your font. Then I'm going to change it to the font. So here is the font. Then increase the font size. Then I'll position it at the center. Then I'm going to apply a gradient color on this text here. So what I'm going to do, then I'm going to my blending option. So let me drag it here so that I can see it. Then I'm going to apply bevel and emboss. Then I will use inner bevel and chisel hard. Then my depth, I'm going to apply 115. 
then the size i will leave it at three percent then the angle i'm going to leave it at 120 so then on this one i'm going to leave it this way all right so the next thing now i'm going to do then i'm going to apply inner glow then on this inner glow so here are the color for the inner glow so i'm going to copy it then select over here then ctrl plus v to paste then you can see the gradients so this is the color i use for the gradient so i'm going to copy it at zero percent so go come, come over here then you select your gradient overlay so now i'm going to click on it then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to copy this one at 53 percent so then i will change this two to three then i'm going to change the color over there ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to copy this one at 100 percent so here is 100 percent then ctrl plus v to paste okay so after done with that one then i'm going to click okay then the angle here so the angle is 69 so i'm going to change the angle to 69 so you can see a change there then the scale then i'm going to change the scale to 89 so you can see the changes now then apply a drop shadow so our drop shadow the background color is black then the opacity is 100 percent and our angle is 90 percent then the distance i'm going to change it to nine then the spread seven and the size is nine so the next thing you remove the noise here apply zero to it then i'm going to click ok all right so this is what we have so after this one the next thing i'm going to duplicate this test here ctrl plus j to duplicate then i'll drag it up then bring it down over here then select your test tool highlight it then come over to your test here then ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then the character spacing then reduce it to zero percent then i'll position it over here all right then use your arrow key then to bring it down i'm going to select the two test and reduce the size okay all right so the next one now then i'm going to type thanksgiving so select your test tool then i'm going to copy the test from here ctrl plus c to copy then click here and i'm going to ctrl v to paste it so then you can see the font i use on it agatha then i'm going to search for the fonts so here is the font then i'm going to increase the font size I'll position it over here then increase the font size
So it's okay like this. What you are going to do now, I'm going to, to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then I'll turn this one off. Then on this one, then I'm going to convert it to smart object. So then I'm going to my blending option now. Then go to your gradient overlay. Then change it to make sure it is normal. Then the opacity is going to be 100%. Then the angle, then change it to 90. And the scale, I'm going to change it to 10. So now, then click on this place, then select this one. Then I'm going to make this one 52. 52 so here are the the color code so i'm going to copy this color code then select the first one then ctrl v to paste it then come back to the second one ctrl c to copy then select this one then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to copy the last one so you can see the 52 percent that is the location copy this one so here is the location i'm talking about so that is the location then this one then i'm going to paste it then you click ok so this one is 100 percent distance location then i'm going to click ok all right so this is what we have here okay then the next thing now is our team then i will group this one together so this is our topic then select the test tool then i'm going to copy the team then i will draw a rectangle around the end then i'll change the background color to black or you can use background color from this place then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then I'm going to change the font to our first font. Then I'll bring it over here. Then I'll group it together. Then I'm going to change the font color of the text. Then I'm going to use the color here. Okay. So the next thing now is our team. Then I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C. Then select your test tool again. The Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to Mr. Draft 4. Then go to your drop shadow. So you can see it. So I don't need to apply any changes so what i'm going to do is to click ok then i will increase the size then i'll drag it over here so here is okay and i'll click ok 
then I'm going to apply change to the color then something like this is okay all right so the next thing now then I'm going to import the image then I'm going to use that is the pastor then I'm going to my file go to place embedded so I will select this image then I'm going to rasterize it go to your property then click on remove background All right, then I'm going to convert it to smart object. Then I'll bring it over here. Then increase the size. Then this team, I'm going to use my arrow key then to drag it up. Then why I will increase it a little. bring it down a little bit then go back to your team again then use your arrow key to position it well then I will increase the topic it's okay it's okay like this so now the next thing now i'm going to copy the name here control plus c select your test tool then control plus v to paste then change the font Change the font color to black. Then I'll break it. Then I'll position it around here. Then I'll close the space a little. All right. So. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to draw a line here. Then I'm going to use this background here. Then you click OK. Then drag it below the pastel. Then select your test tool. Copy the number of your dates. Control V to paste. Then increase the font size. Drag this one. Reduce the font size. Reduce it a little bit. Then I'm change the color to this color here. Then copy this one. Then you paste it, change the font, then change the font color to this color here or the lighter one. Then place it around here. Then apply drop shadow. Then click OK. Then copy this one, select your test tool, 
Control plus V to paste. Then apply color from here. Change the fonts. Reduce the font size. Leave it like this. So, after done with this one, so the next thing now, I'm going to draw a line. So, okay, like this. Then I'm going to use this color, then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then use your arrow key. Then you bring this one down. Then change the color to something like this. Okay. Now duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then drag this one up. Select your test. Then come over here, then you copy your test again. Then Ctrl V to paste. Select this one. Reduce the font size. Then click here. Then reduce the size. Then use your arrow key to bring it back. Okay. So after I'm done with this one, then I'm going to select them, then ungroup it. So here is the uh, data time. So the next one is your location. Then come over here, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test to then Ctrl plus V to paste. Select all. Increase the font size. So okay like this. So that is all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for following. If you like the video, please remember to subscribe, like, and share to your friends. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your following.